Let's do this. We're doing something stupid. I guess we are. Yeah, we definitely are. Okay. Hi, I'm Stella. I do a lot of weird things to my hair and today is no exception. We're doing something really weird and by we, I mean me. But I like to think of this as a unified journey that we all take together. This is my hair at the moment. It's actually really freaking cool, but I'm not feeling this. I need to change it up. I feel like changing it up. Hair dyeing is my, my, my happy place, so that's what we're doing. Except not really. We're not dyeing our hair. Today, I am going to try to dye my hair without actually dyeing my hair. Or rather, dye my hair without the use of hair dyes. I dye my hair a lot, obviously I dye my hair very very frequently and probably in a week or two I will dye it as well. But at the moment I'm just, I'm looking for a bit of a hair change. And I have this really like weird experimental thought. What happens if I try to dye my hair with hair products that contain a small magnitude of dyes but are not actually dyes? Colored shampoo right shampoos that have pigments and then go in with conditioners that have pigments and then go in and spray pigment onto my hair while it's drying would that actually dye my hair <laughs> that is today's video let's do this so this is my base at the moment as you can see it is pretty pink there are some lighter bits but it is pink as much as possible it's pretty pink obviously i am quite limited because it's still so pigmented as to how many colors i could go for i was thinking should i go red again but i had red quite a while so i'm like what happens if i try go in icy bluey sort of a purple or anything purple-ish i know i'm not a big fan of purple you know i'm not a big fan of purple but for the sake of this experiment and for the sake of doing it once again, um, we're gonna try go purple-ish. All right, the first thing we need to do is is wash our hair. And as much as I'd love, honestly, to run from my basin to here, to my basin to here like five times while I apply a bunch of different shampoos and conditioners and stuff, I'm not gonna do that because I have standards. So we're actually gonna move you guys, I'm, I'm gonna move you guys to my basin because it's really pretty and not many people see it, so. Hello, um, this is my basin area that I, I don't, I, I use literally just myself because I don't, I don't take clients. So if you're wondering why I have a basin, I just have a basin in my studio. Anyways, and this is my wall that I spend a lot of money on, so I'm showing it off to you. Um, great, okay. First thing I'm gonna start with is we're gonna literally wash our hair. So I have a bunch of shampoos over here that I'm not quite sure how I'm going to go ahead and apply. I have this one by Schwarzkopf. It is good by Yellow, and it is essentially a very, very, very pigmented blue shampoo or purple shampoo. Like very, very pigmented shampoo. This isn't really a dyeing shampoo. This is more of a toning, brass reducing shampoo. So this still isn't going to give us any color. It's just going to help reduce some of like the orangier bits in our hair. And I have obviously the Fenola Extra Blue Pigment shampoo. This is the no orange shampoo. And this thing is, this thing will tone hair from like yellow to full on silver. So this is really, really, really strong. But again, it's more of a toning shampoo. Still not really dye. The real dyeing agents, these babies. <laughs> got sent a massive box of the Celeb Luxury Viral dyeing shampoos, color wash in different colors. I got like seven different colors. And then I also got like the conditioner version. So essentially, what these are is they cleanse, but also color your hair. Hey, hey. This is the silver one. There, I swatched it on my hand. Wow, we're at it. Why not swatch all of them on my hand? Silver, extreme color wash. This is the blue. Let's see. Pretty vibrant on my, on my hand as well. This is Fenola No Orange. Look how look at the pigment. So as you can see, the silver one at the top is like pretty unpigmented, and then this one is the this one is the no orange. Okay. 
All right, so pretty, pretty similar vibes from all the shampoos except the silver one. The silver one's a bit of a wuss. May or may not go ahead and wash my hair four times with the four different shampoo colorants that I have. I'm gonna use one of these microfiber towel wraps and I'm gonna have it use it in white just to see how much pigment will really be on my hair. If mostly pink comes out, then I'll know the shampoos did nothing. If mostly blue comes out, then, then that's hoping. All right, here's to nothing. Here's to Stella being bored. Starting with Fenola. I'm gonna stay in my hand so much, but I don't feel like wearing show, um, gloves because I don't like wearing gloves when washing hair. So far it pretty much looks the same, except I think I stained my hand. Hi, does it look like it's doing anything? I feel like it's not doing anything yet. Next shampoo, because this one feels a bit useless. Schwarzkopf Goodbye Yellow shampoo. Again, this one's pretty similar to the Fanola thing. It's more of a toner rather than an active dye, so completely solid blue-black. It's very pretty, actually. Maybe I should like massage it in instead of like lather it in, like, or is that the conditioner's job? Can't really tell what's going on with my hair though. You still look pretty boring. You look pink as heck. Celeb Luxury Viral Blue, because I want to get all the blues out the way now. Shocker, this one is also blue. <laughs> okay, let's do it. Oh, this smells so minty. Wow, this is, wow, this is blue. Oh my God, okay. This one is blue. This one's like blue, blue. Wow, this is, wow. It's pink, but it's like a bit less pink. It's actually now like... Look, it's kind of like purple, but it might also be turning full on blue. Wow, okay, this one is dye. It might turn out super patchy, depending on which areas of my hair got more like shampoo, because obviously it's kind of hard to distribute. Wow, that is full on blue strands of hair. Go in with silver and then see how that goes. The Celeb Luxury Silver. Okay, this one seems to be doing absolutely nothing. Oh, my neck hurts so much. <laughs> Do I look like a hot mess? <laughs> Yes, yes, I do. If you want to know, this is how my hands look. They look pretty fine. They just look like they're a bit cold, which is kind of okay. Um, now it's time to condition my hair. It's kind of pretty, actually. That is blue. <laughs> that is blue. This is all. This is all kind of purple red. But the rest is pretty silvery blue. What? Here's how we're gonna do conditioners. I'm probably gonna use pretty much the same amount of conditioners, if not more. I'm gonna use one of these really cute shrine bowls and mixers. They're made out of silicone. I kind of like them. They're gonna be great. So, because I do want a bit of sustenance in my conditioning concoction, I'm gonna go in with just a basic treatment mask by Schwarzkopf. This is the Hyaluronic Moisture Treatment Mask. It is just, it is just badass. Oh, yum. Now, extra blue pigment, no orange mask by Fanola. Once again, I'm gonna do a few pumps of this. It's a bit kinda like, it's cute, but again, it's not going to dye the hair at all. It's just gonna tone it. Have once again by Celeb Luxury, the conditioners, purple one and blue. Okay, now I'm gonna mix up this, this whole thing. It's looking pretty cute. I really don't want to drop it on me. 
It's looking pretty dye, dye. That is beautiful. Great, so now I'm gonna use my bare hands to apply it all over my hair. <laughs> oh god. I'm digging the slightly darker Stella. <laughs> Ew, but also so fascinating. So I'm gonna leave this on for a few minutes. I don't feel like doing like a full 30 minutes or so, but you can do however long you want. Obviously, the longer you leave it, the more pigmented it can be. And then I'll wash it off and I'll show you one last trick that I feel like trying. Oh my god, that is wow, that looks so pretty. Does it look good? I can't see from the back. Does it? Does it? Oh. Final reveal. Wow. But I hope you'll stay. Is this clear on camera? Wow. I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my usual after wash treatments. Before I do that, I'm gonna do one last dyeing trick. I have this thing shine drop it pigments they are quite literally just straight up pigments something on their instagram i saw that they added it to a water bottle mixed it up shook it up and then applied it on the hair and then let the hair dry so i'm just i'm gonna just stain the whole thing one <gasps> look at it sinking okay i'm gonna do more than one Ooh. May or may not have added a bit too much. I added too much. Wow, that is that is not how dark theirs was. Okay, let's see how pigmented it is over here. Not very. Hmm. No, never mind. I'm so thankful that I'm wearing one of the crappiest shirts I own because this is gonna stain everything. <laughs> like everywhere. Okay, I wanna stop there. I'm terrified. I'm gonna get it. Like, look how pigmented it is. Okay. That's how pigmented it is. <laughs> it's gonna be very, very patchy. Bottom part of my hair is just straight up maroon purple, which I'm vibing with so hard either way super super happy with it so far see you guys in a in a bit hello hello why am i so low mm. Mm. because the patchy colors are so cute kind of like they're not like brassy colors it's just like either goes pink or purple or blue don't really mind it i'm gonna say it's like an abstract color so to speak. <laughs> okay, great. I'm gonna start with my makeup because I have a few cool ideas um, and I wanna try them. Great, enjoy. This is a good one. When they wanna play hooky or spin. Prove it to people who look like you. Are you dying too? And there, ladies and gentlemen, is our finished look. <gasps> wow! Here's how we're looking at the end of it. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh, uh, okay, great. Let's, you know, let's let's break down what just happened. I'll be honest, I was expecting a mild change, but like drastic enough to notice, but not really a completely different color because I, I'll be honest, I didn't think these products had that much pigment. Certainly was not expecting blue, pretty vibrant electric blue, and purple underneath. This isn't dye. This wasn't dyed. I didn't dye my hair. 
I just shampooed it four times and I did like a pretty vibrant conditioner and then maybe a spray as well but other than that I didn't dye my hair I am mind blown and I think this experiment was a success I'm gonna be linking all the products that I used in the description box below um I hope this could show you that you don't need extensive salon visits or expensive dyes to do small changes you could probably do small changes yourself especially if you have lighter hair this whole thing took maybe like 20 minutes to do between the shampoos and the conditionings like really very little time. I'm gonna leave you here because I, I, I'll be honest, I need to go grab my COVID vaccine really quickly. But until then, you'll find everything below. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll give it a go and I will see you in my next video. Bye bitches! Wow, by the way, I know I say I hate purple and I do vehemently but this is not purple to me this is kind of maroon and electric blue so I'll, I, I love this this is fucking sick okay I'm gonna enjoy it now <laughs> bye